Hi everybody, I'm Ryan. Today we're going to talk about how to sideboard with Mono Green Tron in Modern. Now the kind of interesting thing about this deck is that it's a Karn board. And what a Karn board means, we can look at the deck, is that it uses Karn the Great Creator to tutor things out of its sideboard. And so all the cards in sideboard are tutor targets for Karn the Great Creator. So why would we ever sideboard? Now the point of sideboarding is so that we can bring in cards that we don't have time to tutor with Karn the Great Creator in certain matchups. Now, if we don't have time to tutor with it but for it to be effective, then it needs to come in when we sideboard. Now, you get burned on this sometimes, once in a great while, but more often than not, it's better to like just try to draw it than be able to cast a card in the Great Creator and in the deep late game when it doesn't matter anymore, be able to tutor out the card that's good. So we're going to go over the top 10 most popular decks in Modern and how to sideboard with this deck against those decks. So first off, the most popular deck in Modern is Scam. Against Scam, we're going to bring in Haywire Might, mostly for Blood Moon, and also to like slow them down just a little bit, especially if they like Fury Scam you, which is really good against us. We're going to be taking out a Karn Liberated uh, and a Ulamog, just because they, they're very high mana. We really only need one card to stabilize against this deck, and we're set up to do pretty well against it. So this is how we sideboard against Scam. And again, I want to restate that we aren't just bringing in cards that are good in the matchup. We're bringing in cards that we need to draw before we are able to tutor them with Karn the Great Creator in the matchup. Against Rhinos, I'm siding in Trinisphere. I'm siding in Chalice of the Void. And I'm going to be bringing out some dismembers. Uh, the dis the, this removal spell that just like deals a bunch of damage to you when you do it is not great against 244 Rhinos. Uh, so I'm siding it out. So I sideboard against Rhinos. The fourth most popular deck is Murktide. Against Murktide, we're bringing in two Hair of Iron Mites for Blood Moons. And we are bringing out a Karn Liberated. And we're going to shave an Urza Saga. Urza Saga is kind of an extra land. So it feels if we need to shave here and there, then it's pretty good for us. Karn Liberated just like does too little. At best, it kills a Murktide. But at worst, it just eats a counterspell. Um, so this sideboard against Murktide. The fourth most popular deck is Omnath. Against Omnath, we're going to be bringing it in our Worm Coil engine. We are rarely going to be able to tutor it, but casting it is actually really strong. So I like bringing it in. We're bringing in Haywire Might for Leyline Bindings. And we're going to be shaving Walking Ballista and a few Relic of Progenitus. That's how I sideboard against Four Color Omnath. The fifth most popular deck is the Mirror Match. In the Mirror Match, we are bringing in Haywire Might to be able to deal with Opposing artifacts and sometimes there's a sagas. We're bringing the stone brain if we can cast a turn two stone brain and like especially on the play turn three take out a Urza land it is amazing and we're gonna be taking out dismembers Kind of obviously it doesn't really do any anything at all in the matchup and shaving a relic of genesis And this is how we're gonna sideboard in the mirror match. The sixth most popular deck is burn Against burn we're bringing in worm coil engine. We just straight up don't have time to tutor We're bringing in haywire might and we are bringing in Chalice of the Void, Chalicing for one is amazing. I don't care if it deals with a bunch of our stuff. We're going to take out Dismember. It is not worth the damage it is dealing to us. We're going to shave on two of these Relic of Progenitus. We don't have time for things that actually don't do anything besides draw cards. This is how we sideboard against Burn. The seventh most popular deck is Hammer Time. Obviously, we're signing in Haywire Might again. I'm a fan of Chalice of the Void. Doing it for one means they can't kill us super, super quick. And for the same reason, very good side in Trinisphere. We're going to side out Relic of Progenitus for the same reason as we side it out against Burn. It's just not worth the time. And then Ulamog, 10 mana is a big ask against such a fast deck like Hammer. So uh, this is our sideboard against Hammer. The eighth most popular deck is Amulet Titan. Against Amulet Titan, we are bringing in the Stone Brain. Being able to take out the Titan very, very quickly is awesome. Uh, Haywire Might, very good against the Amulets in the early game. And then we're going to cut Walking Ballista. doesn't really kill or do anything, at least not easily. And we're going to shave on Relic of Progenitus. That's how I sideboard against Titan. The ninth most popular deck is Yogmoth. Against Yogmoth, I like bringing in Ensnaring Bridge because we can do that as soon as possible because they begin attacking us down very, very early. And getting that Ensnaring Bridge out, I don't think we have time with, uh, with Karn the Great Creator to tutor it. And we're just going to be shaving a Karn Liberated. Just because very often you don't have time, you exile one thing and then it gets attacked down. Uh, so a sideboard against Yogmoth. And the 10th deck and the 10th most popular deck in Modern is Living End. Against Living End, we're siding in Chalice of the Void. Uh, again, Chalice for zero. Excellent. Turns off their combo. Same thing with the Stone Brain. Turns off their combo. And same thing with Trinisphere. They have to pay an extra three mana in order to cast Living End when they cascade to it, into it. We're going to cut on Dismember because if we need to use Dismember, then we probably have already lost the game. And we're going to cut uh, Walking Ballista again for the similar reason. We're shaving Dismember. So I sideboard against Living End. So if you like this video and how to sideboard against the top 10 most popular decks in Modern with the One Ring Tron, please be sure to like and subscribe. Check me out on social medias. Links are above me and in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.